we got a lot to get into here today, and want to start off with uh, some notes from Grand Slam. We'll do the full Grand Slam recap later on, but I guess the uh, the two big stories are injuries to Adam Cole, as well as John Moxley, and uh, we don't really have an update on Adam Cole other than he came out for the main event, and he jumped off the ramp. They had a long ramp going to the ring, and he jumped off, and he landed, and he immediately started limping. And he limped around to the side of the ring, and he rooted on MJF, and MJF went on to beat Samoa Joe to retain the AEW title. And they did some stuff in the ring afterwards, and man, Adam Cole could not walk on that ankle, whatever it was. It looked like his ankle. And uh, and all I know is he was taken to the hospital afterwards. So hopefully it is uh, not too serious, but... It looked pretty bad, so that's the Adam Cole update. And then the uh, the John Moxley story. So John Moxley was facing Ray Phoenix for the international title, and the plan was that he was going to win. He was going to retain the title. And, like, the very first spot they did, they were brawling on the ramp, and Phoenix went running, and he did a flip dive off the ramp, and he essentially landed right on John Moxley's head. And Moxley was the, the back of Moxley's head hit hit the. Uh, the well, his whole right. body landed on his head. I mean, he, he just he yeah. pretty much crushed the guy, and Moxley was rocked, and you know he comes up and he's got the glassy eyes. And the announcers, I think, thought it was a work because they're like, "Man, look at the glassy eyes on John Moxley. Those are the eyes of a man that's been rocked." <laughs> and in fact, those were the eyes of a man who had been rocked. And so, if yeah. you watch it, like. He, he stumbles around. He can't get he to his feet. He stumbled around at first, yeah. But then he kind of Yeah, got he, he got back into the ring, and he kind of started to get his bearings. And then, like, they had a match. And, you know, it was it was Moxie's in there. He's doing a, a couple lucha spots. He's beating on the guy. And apparently what happened was, you know, as the match went on, you know, he just started not feeling good, and he realized he was not in good shape. And so, you know, he told Phoenix, you know, you're going to you're going to beat me. And so Phoenix hit the uh his pile driver, his Phoenix driver. Yep. And uh and you could see like you could see Moxley telling the ref to count. And uh the ref counts 1 2 and then he just And he doesn't up. count and you know, first you hear the crowd start just booing like they're furious. They start getting on their feet for this this uh this call. And yeah. you could see Moxley on his back looks at the ref and goes, "Fuck you!" And so the referee is, that what is he like, said? "Yeah." Oh, and so Moxley, Rick you know, Moxo, Phoenix picks him up and he gives him another pile driver. And uh, this time the ref counted the pin quick, and uh, and that was the end of that. But uh, the word was seemed to be a mild concussion, and uh, and I guess he was you know doing a lot better later in the evening. He was so. he was he was okay backstage. It was diagnosed as a mild concussion, and he was not hurt by either pile driver. You know, I mean, a lot of no, it was going, it was all are, the are dive off. Like, the oh, thing. he got he got dropped on his head twice, and he got a concussion, and and um, he did get you know he did get a concussion, but it was early on, and you know it's not a good thing to to work a match um, after a concussion. That's for sure. But uh, neither of those pile drivers hurt him at all. So he was, you know, as far as that aspect goes, um, you know, that wasn't that wasn't the dangerous spot. Working the match was dangerous, though. There's no doubt. Um, you know, that's not a good thing. So we'll and have as updates. Far, as, as far as, you know, going forward, um, too, too early to tell, I guess, really. Yeah, we'll get updates hopefully tomorrow. But, uh, you know, we got a, a pay-per-view coming up in uh, a week and a half, actually. So October, uh, October 1st, yeah. You know, mild concussion would be probably very much touch and go. And we don't know anything about Adam Cole. You, 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 you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't know. I mean, you know, it could be a week, it could be a month. You know, it's a you know, it's one of those things where everyone recovers different. Well, this show opened up with Eddie Kingston and Claudio Castagnoli, title versus title, Ring of Honor World and New Japan Strong Open Way titles on the line. And man, this match was great. And these fans loved, loved Eddie Kingston. And he's got so much babyface fire. And every time he fired up, they'd go nuts chanting Eddie's name. And uh, multiple striking battles here. And uh, as they got near the finish, Eddie actually pulled off a Hurricane Rana 
off a Ricola bomb, but then Claudio hit the uppercut. He hit the Ricola bomb. Eddie kicked out, got a monster pop. I got a big pop, yeah. Eddie hit two back fists, half and half, another back fist, Northern Lights bomb. Claudio kicked out of that. Hit another back fist, hoisted him up, power bombed him, and pinned him. And uh, I was watching this match thinking, man, Samoa Joe and Max, they better be ready to deliver because this could have been the main event. And they did, by the way. But anyway, yeah, Claudio I, I, actually, offered I thought the. Samoa uh, Joe and Max was the better match of the two. It, it ended up being. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but uh, the, uh, but, but um, the win, you know, um, Eddie had promised Kawada, his, Toshiko Kawada, his hero, that he would win a big match using the power bomb, which is, you know, the big move that, of, that, that Kawada used, you know, when he was Eddie, Eddie started watching WWE, WWF like everybody else, but he started seeing those VHS tapes of all Japan pro wrestling in particular, new Japan too, but all Japan in the nineties, you know, with, uh, Misawa, Kobashi, Akira Tawe and Kawada, you know, Terry Gordy, Dr. Death, Stan Hansen, that was Eddie Kingston's childhood wrestling, and Kawada was his favorite. You know, we wear the the colors of Kawada, and um, you know, got to meet Kawada when he went to Japan, and they brought Kawada to Starcast, so he did a symposium with Kawada, and he promised Kawada that when he got a big win, he's dedicating it to him. He's going to use the power bomb for his finisher. So this was the biggest win of his career, Ring of Honor Championship, and he in fact used the power bomb as the finishing move. So they, uh, Claudio offered the handshake after the match. Eddie shook his hand. Claudio gave him the Ring of Honor title and left. And it was an awesome moment to open up the show. Yeah, it was just, it was really, it was really just great. Yeah. Then we had the Kingdom in the hospital with Roderick Strong, and they're thanking fans for the cards and letters. And Cole shows up and Roddy screams, Adam, Adam, are you here? And he says, I can't see you. And Cole says, well, open up your eyes, buddy. And so Bennett and Taven said, wow, here's Cole right when we got to leave. And so they leave. And then Cole says, I know you don't want to hear this, but I got to leave too. And Max has got a big match against Samoa Joe. I got to be there. And Roddy says, well, what about me? And then he dramatically raises his bed and he says, just go. And Cole's very upset about this, but he goes. And Roddy. I actually like this segment a lot. It was awesome. The Kingdom yeah. and uh, Roderick Strong have been so great over the last month or so. Yeah. This segment was awesome. Yeah. And we had uh, Renee with Christian and Luchasaurus. And uh, Christian says, we're going to walk through Darby and Sting on Friday. And on Saturday, Darby, how about you step into the ring with me and Luchasaurus in a three-way for the title. And if you want this title shot, Sting is not allowed at ringside. Do you think you think that uh, Christian pins Luchasaurus and and gets the? Uh, I think there's a very good chance that happens. And gets the title. I know that 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 there are people very very high on Christian right now, so that wouldn't surprise me at all. I th- I, I like the gimmick of Christian claiming to be champion, you know, while Luchasaurus is actually the champion. But I could really see when he's when they announced that three way, I thought. Uh, Christian's winning the title for real this time. I mean, you can be, you know, whatever. And and you could do that thing. You know, you could do the thing where Luchasaurus lays down for him and and uh, he gets the belt or, or he no, just steals no, the no. belt. Christian's got to screw Luchasaurus. Yeah, yeah. Win the yeah. belt well, off could, of him. He, he could, he, you know, Dar- he could do, do one of those things where Darby has Luchasaurus beat. Christian throws him out, you know, Darby out and pins Luchasaurus. He takes the pin on Luchasaurus, which starts the thing where Luchasaurus doesn't trust him. I'm calling it down Granny's memory lane. Are you reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. This is more up to date. You know. I'm I more... see. Okay. This is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just. No, said. no, no. Okay. No, no. <laughs> the New Testament. Everyone, let her go. We lived on a farm ten miles east of Baker. More yeah. recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say this isn't new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martels and Hebes. Hebes? One is Martel. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Hebes only had one daughter, 
named Alice. Yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what, what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> You thought I wasn't going to like this segment, <laughs> Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click Join today, and don't miss out.